oh yeah, this one's kind of crazy. I'm looking at a headline right now that says AT&T and Verizon to delay 5G deployment near certain airports after airlines warnings. Now, what kind of warnings have the airlines provided? Well, they've pretty much said, folks, that they think their airplanes will fall out of the sky without actually saying it because they have no idea what kind of effect 5G is going to have on those airplanes. And folks, let me just tell you something. They are absolutely right about that. Now, before I get into this, there've been a lot of people that have asked me about 5G. As a matter of fact, people say, hey, what the heck? 5G is already on my phone. It already says 5G. Well, you got to think about it this way, just so that you kind of get a lesson of what's going on. They have pretty much set up the infrastructure necessary to push out 5G technology, but it's not quite there yet, if that makes any kind of sense. Uh, probably the best way that I illustrate this is, if you actually have a freeway, and that freeway was equipped for vehicles that only went 15 miles an hour, and then all of a sudden you upgraded that freeway to be equipped for traveling of vehicles at 200 plus miles an hour, well, no vehicles are gonna go through that freeway at 200 plus miles an hour because there are no vehicles that can go that fast. And so uh, they develop a few of those vehicles over the years and they start to test it on the freeway, but the freeway is still facilitating for the most part 10 mile an hour vehicles. Well, now the wireless uh, providers are saying they're ready to start running the 200 mile an hour vehicles. And that is going to involve the utilization of frequencies that I can guarantee you will create lots of different types of interferences. And that's what the fear of these airlines are all about. They're really worried about that happening. Now you might say, well, James, why are you bringing the, all of this up? I mean, why is this such a big deal to you? And why is this something that's worth mentioning? Well, it's not that big of a deal to me in that I know how technology works other than the fact that 5G is really, really, really pushing the limit. 5G is kind of like this type of technology that is so aggressive that we really don't know the side effects of what the utilization of that type of technology is going to bring about. Now, the one thing I can tell you is that it's very likely going to make certain aspects of life very chaotic, the type of things that we might not see uh, in front of us. I can tell you this right now, I won't be flying in airplanes anytime soon. Well, the crazy requirements that they have to even fly keep me from flying an airplane anytime soon. But what I can tell you is we are going to see some pretty massive changes on the technological front. And we know that knowledge is gonna be increasing. The ability to gain knowledge is literally um, much faster than it ever was. And I can tell you this, once they get all the bugs worked out, we are gonna start seeing some changes that we never thought possible. And I can promise you it is going to lay down the floor, the, the groundwork for what we know is gonna be happening in the last days. And we are there, we're watching it, folks. We are watching it. And this 5G technology is very much on that front. It has the ability to change a lot of things. And we'll actually talk about this maybe in our roundup on Friday. We'll have a conversation about this, but it's pretty amazing where things are going and they're changing radically. So here's the bottom line. We see the signs. We know Jesus is coming soon. If you're not right with God, get right with God. Just go to him. It's a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. It's an easy prayer. Let him change your life. Salvation can only come from his finished work. Seek him out because you don't want to be left behind. God bless you guys.